guys what is up i'm back after a long break today i'm going to be going over how i made this like dark evil lancy foe type beat and let's get straight into it so the first thing i did was create this little bell melody it's really really simple it just repeats twice over and it's just pretty basic it's just like a simple like sign type bell The second melody I made was this little lead thing. I know it says pad here, but it sounds more of like a lead. And it's pretty basic, it just alternates between these two notes. And it just adds that little bit of extra energy. This is the third thing I did, and this is like a big part of the melody, I guess. It's the basic sign lead from Purity. And yeah, I just went crazy with the melody. And the one thing I like to do is make the notes overlap so they like slide into each other rather than just like a straight note. So like you guys could tell these two notes slided and like these two notes had like a little bit of um, like attack on them. The last thing I added was this little like pluck thing. I don't think it even made too much of a difference in the beat, but it was just there for some, you know, extra stuff. So yeah, that's all I had for the melody. So let's get into the drums. This is my hi-hat pattern. So yeah, I didn't really go with like the basic two-step or triplet hi-hats that I usually do. I left like a lot of space in between. This is my clap pattern. This is the snare. And this is a reversed open hat that I added. And this is a normal open hat. So the first 808 that I used was the Chase the Money 808. And this is the pattern I went with. I just repeated the pattern over because the 808 already hit so hard. So I was just like, there's no really need to go crazy with it. And this is the second 808 that I used. And as you can see, this one's a bit more complex. One cool thing I did was, was create like a super long 808 roll. So yeah, I used two different 808s compared to like normal Zay or Spins 808. Those ones will work too, but I just wanted to use something different because Lancy Foe and Destroy Lonely always have like weird like drums and weird melodies and stuff. The effects I put on my 808 is I increased the EQ like right here. And I also made the attack all the way down, the hold all the way up, and the sustain all the way up, and I put on cut self. For the mixing, all I did was put a soft clipper on the master. All my main melodies, except for the sign lead, I took out all the lows and a bit of the highs. For my sign lead, I added this weird EQ because it was like ear piercing, and I didn't want like the sign lead to be protruding out of the beat so much. I also added a soft clipper, and I added some reverb and stuff. So yeah, that's basically the whole beat. If you want to listen to the whole thing, it should be on your screen right now. And yeah, subscribe and like the video because I'm going to keep making more tutorials. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot more on there. So yeah, peace.